VCT Stage 2 Challengers 2 EU is in the rearview mirror, and all eyes are now on the unexpected victors, Fnatic. They were the underdogs going into the event, but with two brand new prodigies on the team, they charged their way through to qualify for the Challengers finals. One week before Challengers 2, Fnatic signed Durka and Magnum, barely giving them enough chance to practice with the team before being thrown in at the deep end. But Fnatic's new roster began their tournament against G2 Esports with round after round of unhinged aggression on bind, practically sprinting on site to light up their adversaries. Seems like an A split straight away. The Eldron and the Trailblazer dedicated this shun. Fnatic really want to go for something very aggressive. They're going to put a lot of pressure onto Piff, but the angle is pretty open for Doma. He gets one, trying to work out where this player is. And the Boombot helps him out in the NG2 overrun from Fnatic. The upcomers used unpredictable positioning and well-placed utility to dizzy their opponents and strike from unexpected angles. As Fnatic attacked a site, Doma tucked himself into a corner behind a toxic screen. Fnatic then flushed out G2 with an orbital strike, forcing them into Doma's waiting crosshairs. Oh, he's in oh, no. trouble, he's in danger, and he's dead from the ultimate. Doma! Oh my god, he just <laughs> runs into it, doesn't give a damn, but he's in a pretty good position now. And G2 are left in the spot where pushing in is going to be pretty tough. There's the first, there's the swing by his teammate, and so it's easy peasy. I, I really love that from Fnatic, great decision making. Though the teams traded rounds early, Doma continued to perform, and his 1v3 clutch was a sign of success to come. As G2 gear up for this retake, they know exactly where Cypher is. Drop down, Mixwell's good for a one-for-one -one trade. Hits with another, here's where Panatek comes out to play, but he might not even be needed. Oh, in fact, he's dealt with Doma coming in with the headshots and the round. A 3K, a 1v3 clutch. How has he gotten away with that one and put seven on the board for Fnatic? That's unreasonable. Time and time again, Fnatic force their opponents to react to changing rules of engagement and punish them for slow responses. Durka fans a nice angle onto Ozzy, who was too busy checking on the plant spot. Seeing him for play from Fnatic leaves himself a little bit open. Now Mixwell, with the Marshall, tries to dash forward and finds himself on an angle with two Fnatic players looking at him. And this buy has really gone south for G2. Piff with the Bucky's knows where Magnum is, the information was garnered, and even on a run like this, Durka is able to get the triple kill. What a deadly duo to have on your team now. After their victory against G2, Fnatic faced down Team Vitality, who would emerge from a very close match against Ascend. Again, Fnatic were able to change their tempo on a dime, pushing Vitality to adapt on the fly. Just like G2 before them, Vitality couldn't keep up. They have to find something, Doma will shut down. Send a Durka. Will peek on, Jesmond will fall. Fnatic close out 13-10 on Icebox. Suddenly, Fnatic found themselves in the finals. Standing in their way was a trade-fragging, wide-swinging Team Liquid, headlined by CSGO import Yampi, flying high off the back of his recent unbanning from his former game. Fnatic traded maps back and forth with Team Liquid, continuing to showcase their signature mix of temper play and wild rushes. And the push comes back through, Yumpy the dash again, he's been punished so many times for the dash into these positions, and now it's all up to Cryptics, they may be expected to be on the plant, but Doma with his spam ends up killing him in the smoke. It's another round for Fnatic, showing once again why they're so terrifying on these attack-sided rounds. Going into the fourth game, Liquid had selected powerful defensive agents for their own map pick. Fnatic was supposed to be on Liquid's turf now, having to fight on one of their opponent's best maps. But team captain Big Brain Boaster had anticipated this ahead of time. Rather than try to match Team Liquid in a slow and careful game, Fnatic brought out some spicy tech. Basically, we came online today at like usual time, and Boaster just went, we're probably gonna have to play Split because it's Liquid's like best, maybe or the second best map. We were trying to figure some stuff out, and Boaster just went, yeah, I'll play a and I'm like, Okay, I guess they could just go on jet, I'll just go on raise and we'll just wing it and try to win. With three members of their team devoted to duelists, Fnatic made sure their fights were fast and furious, and it was made all the more impressive by the fact that several players were debuting agents for the first time in a competitive game. Even starting on defense, they made their composition's game plan clear. Buy time, force the enemy team to commit to a single site, and then rip them apart. Now we see the Rolling Thunder expended. It's actually a missed shot, but Doma has his teammates back, and Ducker just goes wild. Two kills off the back of the Blade Storm. The round's already over. This man has just ruined their day once again. In a standard game of Valorant, Team Liquid were the favourites, so Fnatic 
refuse to play a standard game. There's only nine seconds. They have to start planting that spike, and they're still watching for the remaining player. Dolma, though, connects another dink, and Cryptics, he has a chance here. One player low, but the repeat from Boaster will be enough to close this round. Once the team switch sides and Fnatic were able to use their dual lists to their full destructive potential, the pattern continued. They've got three more attempts at taking down Magnum, and he's low HP. One shot to the body from these weapons will take him out. Oh, well, maybe not through the wall. One HP remaining. Spike planted. And now he's going to get it done. He's going to do the damage with the rifle, and all they need is one body shot. One! As he moves around the left side, Link has lost track of him, not entirely sure where he is, and waiting for the destruction of that lockdown Magnum swing! Oh! And he gets the ace! Cryptix is in trouble, he's out of the round, and Link is sat there going, wait, A is open, they're not even going there! He has to make a huge play, and he won't! Doma shuts him down, Fnatic take top seed coming out of week two and going into Challenger's finals. Fnatic had played Split just a single time leading up to the event, and Doma readily admitted they hadn't even had time to properly practice for the map. Everyone stepped up today. We won some rounds maybe we shouldn't have, like on Split, <laughs> we just swinged it. We had no time to prac Split. We, we didn't even have time to prac other maps, but somehow we managed <laughs> to win Split, which we played once before the game today. So, if Fnatic can dominate an event with new players using unfamiliar agents on maps they've barely practiced, the sky's the limit for this exciting team. With a potential trip to Masters on the horizon, how far can they go? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below.